Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another beer review with me, Ruku. Today's beer review is a sad one. I'm sure we've all seen the news, I'm sure we've all heard the news about the Spencer Brewery closing down. I mean, wow. Why? And does it really have to? Um, yeah, apparently so, it does. Um, they don't find it very profitable anymore, supposedly, and the head monk decided enough's enough and it's going to close the brewery down. Which is a, it's a huge, huge tragic shame. Um, it's, it annoyed me, if I'm being honest, because I really do like Spencer's um, ales and stuff that they produce, all their beers. And I think the head monk was very good at what he did. And there was no reason really to shut the doors, but hey, that's their decision, not mine. If it was my decision, I would quite happily go in there myself, should I had the money, and I would fund them, but I haven't got the money. Um, alternatively, I would have loved to have gone there and slapped him in the face and said, don't close, you know, you produce masterpieces. So this masterpiece um, is, of course, the Imperial Stout. Um, also, a lot of people are now buying up a lot of the Spencer beers because of once they're gone, they are gone. So there's still a lot of Spencer beers I have never had and I probably will never have. So it makes Mark, sorry, a sad time for me and for a lot of people uh, to hear that America's only Trappist brewery is now shutting its doors. Never mind, we'll make this a good one and we'll make this in homage too. So this is the uh, Spencer Imperial Stout. This comes in at a nice 8.7. Um, this is a 330 and uh, is from the US as we know. Ingredients are watered malted barley hops yeast, so they don't give nothing away. And uh, I shall now be using my new stylish bottle opener. This is uh, this was actually sent to me, so uh, I love this. This is a, a penis bottle opener. Ever seen anything like it? It's all the way from Ibiza, and uh, it's a penis, and it's a bottle opener. It's made of wood, literally wood. Way, right. <sighs> so there's your cap, Spencer, with the uh, flower on it. Nice blue and gold. Such a shame. Okay, here we go. I have another Spencer coming up later on in, in the reviews, so stay tuned for that. And this looks amazing. This just looks silky smooth on the pour straight off the bat. There's no messing around here. And uh, it's just going to be a shame. A shame to have to drink, you know, a piece of history. So there we go, as it should be completely dark, you can see the head is thick, small bubbled and is a sand coffee colour and uh, it holds its own pretty well, small bubbles in there, very espresso looking the head, very espresso colour, let's uh, crack on with some aromas, just going to leave that there a minute. Yeah, you can smell chocolate, you can smell coffee, roastedness, cocoa nibs, that sort of thing. Pretty much. Right, let's go with the taste. Cheers, everyone. Very boozy forward and bitter. Very boozy and bitter. Nice creamy head. It delivers bitterness. The head is soft, gentle. Very, very coffee bitter. Coffee bitter bean and a slight charness. It's like, and I'm going to liken this to a very bitter coffee. That is what it is. 
a very bitter coffee that's smooth after taste when you're really little you want to settle it down a little bit there is a little bit of sweetness coffee bitter uh, yeah it's just real sharp and and bitter like a bitter coffee bean um not what I was expecting. I was expecting this to be a bit more uh, depth. I, I was expecting a bit more depth and flavour to this, but hey, it is what it is. Still not a bad beer. And that head is really soft. The body is nice. It's medium, but it's it's soft, gentle, smooth. I can't get over how bitter this really is. Now, this could just be me. Um, because I have not long just got over COVID. So, I have had COVID. And it may be my taste buds. But I, from what I know, and I, what I'm tasting, this is very, very bitter coffee. A very bitter coffee beanie. Um, hints of chocolate in there a little bit, yeah. After taste again is is of coffee, bean. Yeah, it's pretty much two dominant flavors really, but it's still a good beer. It's something that I wasn't expecting. It's very different. I was expecting it to be more warming, more hearty, you know, a bit more depth, a bit more character. But this is surprised me. It's just complete opposite of what I was expecting. And yeah, I like it. <clears throat> it's a nice twist on the take of a of a stout, imperial stout, like I, I believe. Um, yeah, I would I would rate this a good uh, eight out of ten. I think eight out of ten for me. Just wanted to see a little bit more depth. That was all. But hey, what can I say? You are not going to be able to get this before long. So, yeah, what a shame. So it's a piece of history. And once again, I'm going to toast before I sign off to those that worked for the Spencer Brewery and for the creations that they have made. I thank you on behalf of all the beer drinkers and, of course, everyone who loves Spencer products. So thank you, Spencer, for some wonderful memories. And thank you for producing such blinding beers you're going to be missed. You are going to be missed.